Hey everybody. Hey everybody. No. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Fat bird finds here. That was it. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Mary Beth's mom. It's my mom, Rhonda. Welcome. <laughs> so Laura is not with me today, but my mom and I are going to check out this awesome estate sale. So this estate sale has been advertised on Facebook for several days now, and we're, we're really excited to go check it out. Laura's at work, unfortunately, but my mom's here. So that's very exciting. So we're going to go in there and see what we can find. So I've already picked up two things and I've got them set to the side. I'm not sure if they're worth as much as they're marked, but I wanted to pick them up before somebody else did because I really like them. The guy said that I could make a pile, so that's nice. No, you're good. I've got a whole collection here of paperweights, just tons of them. So pretty. Here's some jello molds for Katie. Katie, these are just for you. Whoops, I just realized I was covering my camera up. Anybody need some old curlers? So that's not bad for a dollar, although I think it's flashed. I don't think that that's actually colored glass. I think that's flashed on. My mom just hollered at me. She found this really cute little swung amber vase for a dollar. So we're going to pick that up. This swan is really pretty, but the color is flashed on. So that's not colored glass. This lady who lived here was a collector. And uh, this is her estate. She just has all kinds of stuff out here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like that goes on top of something. I'm not really sure about that. It's pretty though. I like this little piece of glass right here. I wish it wasn't clear. Whoops, I just realized I wasn't video on that really good. If that was a colored glass, that would be awesome. But, alas. Lots of Easter stuff and bunnies. Oh, here's a bunch of brass. I'd like to find some brass deer. That would be nice. There's a brass duck. $3. That's a good price. Deer. If I knew more about some of this Victorian stuff, I might be missing out on some bargains, but unfortunately, I just don't know. Laura's not here with me, so I'm relying on myself, which is scary. 
These appear to be made in Germany, if I had to guess. These are really pretty. I really like this piece, except the stopper is broken, which is always a major shame. Lots of clear glass. That's really pretty as well. Has a big chunk out of it over there. Look at this full set of restaurant wear. Bowls, plates, saucers, ashtrays. Mayor China. We sold a set of, a smaller set of restaurant wear uh, that was made for the, oh gosh, some fancy hotel in New York. I don't remember. And it ended up that we sold it back to them. They bought it on eBay, which was really cool. That's a big set. That would be a lot to ship, but that would be, it's only $45 for the set. It's a really good price, I think, but I'm going to leave that there. Okay, so as you saw in the video, Laura wasn't able to go with me. I know, you did it without me. I did, but I've got all of the stuff laid out on a table in the house, and we're going to go through it together, and we're going to see what Laura thinks about how I did today. I can't wait to see. You've been so nervous about how much money you spent. Yeah, so I spent about $105 total on everything, so I can't wait to see what sort of letter grade you give me on the day. I'm ready. Okay, let's go check it out. <laughs> okay, Laura, so here is the overview. Everything on this table is what we pick is what I picked up with my mom. I'm at, impressed already. Are you? Yes. At the estate auction. I can't take my eyes off that china. I know, right? So let's just start at the end. So I found some vintage Halloween masks. Now they're not in perfect condition. As you can see, that one's cracked. They're not in perfect condition, but I thought they were pretty cool. And you know, some people like to decorate with, the, with these uh, for Halloween. So I didn't want to leave these behind because- Those would be cute for that. Just, I mean, just purely for decoration. Yeah, I thought they were pretty cool actually. Okay. And, you know, the funny thing about it is, you know, they're supposed to look kind of creepy or scary, so the cracks are kind of funny, really. That's true. Absolutely. So I, I forgot to preface this with, you know, if you see anything that we talk about today that you like or that you're interested in buying, you can send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com, and you can purchase from us that way. It's the best way to buy something. Laura says it's the best way to buy something, and she's right, because then you don't have to wait for it to go into a live sale or uh, for one of our items on Friday night. Okay, then I picked up some trivets. These are like like iron, I think, or like, what do you think these are? They're heavy. Yeah, they're just metal. You know, they're just, I mean, somebody, some people say pot metal, but they're just, they're just regular metal trivets. Yeah. So I've got an owl, some mushrooms, Cast another iron owl, maybe, but. Uh, a turtle, I mean, a fish. That might be cast iron, yeah. And another owl. So yeah, I just thought those were really cute. So can I point out something here? I would love for you to. <laughs> I think you've been following your own direction. Do you remember way back from the start? No. You you wanted to pick out anything with an owl on it. Oh yeah. Anything with a mushroom on it. Yeah. Anything speckled. I, we're you're getting ahead of me. You're doing really good. Hey, but I did really good on these. So this is like three little. I don't know, bowl plates, right? Mushroom, speckled, otagiri. Those yep. were like my criteria starting out. Those were the things I was looking for at the beginning. So yeah, like those could be like for a sauce or, yeah. you know, something like that. So let's go back this way. So Laura, I know that you like scarves and I picked up this box of vintage scarves and I'll let you just kind of sift through those for just a second, but I think all of them, most all of them, if not all of them, are silk. It's pretty exciting. It looks like some really cute stuff in there. 
Oh, look, look at, at her. him. Or him. <laughs> Bronco Buster. That's fun. And look, here's the fat bird one. It's orange and blue. That's cool. Just cute. Is it goldfish? On no. There? I think they they're flowers? flowers. I think they're flowers. Gotcha. Um... Yeah, just kind of lay that one out on the table. This is like, this is a flag. Yeah. So this is a an old, like, silk flag. And it's, I don't know, it's not blue where it should be. It's like an odd color. But it's only got 48 stars, which I think is cool. And yeah, it's pretty big. I think that that's a cool piece. And it doesn't have uh, rivets or anything where you would put it on a uh, flagpole, but... No, I think it's, it's supposed to be like a clothing accessory. Gotcha. That's why we're not treating it at like you should treat the flag. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. And, oh, I love that one. Oh, my gosh. I love that. So, yeah, if anybody's interested in any of these scarves, we can show them to you in more detail. Here's another one that's a, that's a flag that's small. But yeah, we've got just a ton of silk scarves in here. So cute. This is my jam. I love that. That's your jam? I love them. I love it. All right, so let's put those back. Okay, while I talk about this tray, I'm going to let you open one of these. <laughs> I know there's a lot of them. They're just kind of falling everywhere. So, Laura, why don't you open one of those place card holder boxes, and I'll move on to this tray. So I thought this was really cool. I love the tray. It's got like the inset wood in there. There's a piece of glass over the top. Let me see if I can flip it over. It's kind of heavy. Look at the bottom. Isn't that beautiful? I love that piece. It's not in perfect condition. I mean, there's a little bit of damage here and there, but I just think that is so cool looking. I mean, that's probably a $30 or $40 piece right there. I think so. I don't know about the masks. I don't know how much those would bring. Well, that's okay. But I mean, I, I, mean, I would expect, like, I'm, I'm just trying to, to get a grasp for your grade. <laughs> oh, I see. I would expect the trivets to bring maybe $35 for that whole set of those. So awesome. cute. Cool. Did you have any of those open? Yeah, a couple of them. Okay. Let me have one if you don't care. So these are just little place card holders. So you would put your little place card in between there, and this would just sit on the table. And all of them are marked... Our adult Japan on the bottom with those little cute little stickers. But I think there's six in each box, if if I remember correctly. So there's like a little white rose and this one's kind of pink. But they're all just little pastel colors. Those are sweet. Yeah. They don't appear to have ever been used. Okay. I love those. Cool. And we showed you these already, but yeah, these are just some little like sauce trays or bowls or something. That one has like strawberries, a little bouquet of flowers, and that one has some mushrooms. Love those. Okay, here is some Wedgwood. I picked up three of these plates. They're Christmas plates. This one says Christmas 99. That one is 97. And that one's 96. I don't have a 98, Laura. Sorry. Hmm. Sorry if that's what you were hoping for. Somebody can just finish out their set. Can we see the back of one of those? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay, I think I've got it upside down. Oh, yeah, you do. You want to flip it for me? Thanks. No, now you've got it upside down. Oh, you did I it was the wrong right way. To begin with. We're making everybody dizzy. Imagine that. Wedgewood. There you go. Okay. Cool. Very cute. All right, then I picked up a few brass pieces. I've got this big brass duck. He's a cutie. He's kind of heavy. He's good. This little guy has got really old potpourri inside. <laughs> I think you call that a cricket box. A what? I think that's called a cricket box. How do you know that? Well, just from being around this stuff for a long time, and I'm really not sure why it's called that, but I think that is what it's called. Okay. <laughs> then a couple of brass trays here. You know, you can put like your perfume or your makeup or whatever. 
in there. And then this is just really simple. It's just a little brass bowl, but I thought it was... That's pretty. I thought it was pretty. And I picked that up too. That would be really cool to put like your change or whatever in. I like that. Okay, Laura. So let's move on to this china back here that you love so much. Oh my gosh. So when we went to the estate sale, my mom and I, um, I was looking at this and they had $45 on it for the set. And I didn't really want to pay that much because I wasn't certain how well it would sell um, on eBay. Plus, but, let's face it, it's it's hard. You know, it's hard to ship. Right. So I even went, when you split it up. Exactly. Even if you split it up, China's just really hard to ship. It's heavy. But anyway, so I went back on the last day of the sale and it was still there. So I decided to get it and I got it for a little bit of a reduced price. So I thought that was cool. So Laura has looked this up. So Laura, why don't you tell us about what this is? Okay. So, Actually, can you touch the screen and make me focus? Sure. Thanks. So that is the emblem for Metropolitan Life Insurance. Okay. Um, so this was made by Mayor China in the 60s, early 60s, especially for Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. Okay. At the time, Metropolitan had, you know, a business front on Madison Avenue, New York. So... I mean, this is fancy, right? So is this like MetLife? I guess so. Cool. Right? I'm not sure. But I it could so. be. So that's like, uh, they call that the the monogram that you were just showing. Mm -hmm. In the ceramic world, they call that a badge. Okay. So that's the badge for Metropolitan Life. You hit my screen again to focus. Thanks. I'll do it again. Thank you. I need more than one hand. Yeah. Or more than two hands. <laughs> And so, look at that Art Deco design. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. I love this. Um, and really, Mary Beth, even if, I mean, there's not a lot of comps on eBay. Right. But, I mean, say you got $5 a piece out of all that. I counted up. That's $225. Hey! And you know that these will bring more than $5 a piece. Yeah. So, these are the ashtrays. We've got three of those. So all the coffee cups, a few bowls here, and then I have like small plates, a little bit larger plates, and then a little bit larger plates. I mean, gone are the days, right? Can you imagine living in a time when things were fancy enough that you had your own china made? <laughs> hey, we need Fat Bird Finds China. Right? I'm telling you. Wouldn't that be fantastic? <laughs> okay, let's move down here. Okay, I've got a couple of... Um, oh my gosh, my words are escaping me. Fitz and Floyd. Fitz and Floyd, thank you. That was just not coming to mind. So these would be really pretty in the fall on your table, like decorating, put out some like hors d'oeuvres or something. It's funny how you can just spot those immediately. You yeah. can tell that they're Fitz and Floyd, but they're always marked also. Yeah. So there it is right there. Mm-hmm. For instance, that one came from Dillard's, $28. So, yep. I mean, I would expect on eBay for that to bring, you know, in the $20 range. Okay. Awesome. Whoops. Set that down a little heavier than I meant to. Same thing there. Awesome. That's little acorns for the fall. Isn't that pretty? This is another thing that I wanted to pick up the first day, and it was just a little bit too expensive, a little bit, you know, more than I wanted to pay. And I went back the last day and it was still there. And so I got a really good price on this as well. Isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous. I love that footed, such a ruby red color. I mean, that's just to die for. It's beautiful. That's one of my favorite things I think we've ever picked up. Really? Yeah. I just, the color is just phenomenal. Does the Amberina part glow? It does. It is. It absolutely does. Okay, so moving on to this little cow. She almost looks like she's got like frog feet, right? With her <laughs> little green hooves. Just about. But she's a cutie. She's got her eyes shut. Look at those eyelashes. Oh, she's so sweet. Is she marked on the bottom? She's not marked on the bottom. She's got a little bit of a Shawnee face. Oh, you know what? That you, you, Will you click on my screen when I do this with two hands and I can't? That used to have maybe had a sticker there. Looks like it might have, but I'm not sure. She's got a little bow on her tail. She is really feeling herself. I love it. She's so cute. Okay. 
Look at this piece of crackle glass. This is really cool. I know you love that. You know I love a good brandy snifter shaped. This looks like in poly glass to me. I love the that. The shape of it. Here, I'm gonna let you touch the screen again. Mary Beth, we could just have a sale just with this haul. Right. And it'd be fantastic. Look at that crackle in there. Isn't that phenomenal? Love it. That's just beautiful. I love that. Okay, then we have this little itty bitty swung vase. I don't know the pattern. I'm gonna have you click on that again. Thanks, Laura. You're hired. Thanks. So I don't know the pattern on this piece, but this is just a really small uh, swung vase. Do you care to hit it again? It's really cute. I've got too much stuff on the table. It's all wanting to focus on everything else but what I want it to. So that's a cutie. Probably everybody's seeing those bowls in the background that are so awesome. Yep, so speaking of, these are my favorite things now that we picked up. So this is what I saw in the pictures at the beginning of the estate sale that I wanted when, you know, when I saw it on Facebook. I love these. And Laura, do you know what these are? I'm sure you do. I do, but I want to be honest with you. I did not know. Well, I didn't either until I looked it up. I thought a minute ago when I saw them that it that they were mini punch bowls. Mini punch bowls. Well, Laura because... wants to just like <laughs> dip out her mini punch out of these little mini punch well, bowls. Well, now let me explain myself. I used to, when, growing up, I had, my mom collected salesman sample size furniture for me. Oh, yeah. And so we always had little mini, uh, you know, glassware and things to go in the shelves. I had corner cabinets and a little table and chairs. Mm -hmm. So that's why it popped into my mind. Gotcha. Okay, hit your light, Laura. Okay, so that oh. one is uranium. Now, I've got a lot of natural light coming in here. But look how beautiful but you even. can, Yeah, you can still see the glow over there on the, on the green piece. Gosh, even with all that light. <laughs> look at that. I know, that's beautiful. Okay, so these are mayonnaise serving bowls, okay? So each set is three pieces. So you have the underplate and then the bowl and the serving spoon. So this one is the pink depression. I'm going to set that spoon out real quick yeah when we were i looked him up um just before, my screen yeah just before we started filming this and i thought this the pink might be tiffin but i think if it was tiffin it would have gold maybe um but it's beautiful i love the pink i love the pink too i, I really honestly think the pink one is my favorite i think um, i think george the antique nomad said that he thought pink depression clap glass was going to make it come back. Well, it needs to because this piece is really cool. And then I'm going to pick up the green one. So again, I can't get over it. I'm going to have you hit my screen again. If you don't I can't care. get over the glow. So this, piece. this pattern of this depression glass, will you hit it one more time up there where the peacock is? Thank you. That's perfect. So this pattern is called peacock and wild rose. Will you hit the light? Yeah, it's just, you can see it. It's just so bright in here. If I move it though like that, you can tell. <laughs> right. So peacock and wild rose. You can kind of see it really from the side like that too. Though. Mm -hmm. There's the underplate. And then I'm going to be honest with you guys. On the serving spoons, I've not found a serving spoon online anywhere that looks exactly like this one does. So most of them look like this, like the pink one, like the little mm -hmm. like bowl-shaped ladle. Most of them look like this. I, I have looked far and low and high and whatever. <laughs> I've not found one. This one almost looks like a shell, right? Mm -hmm. It's got the scalloped edges. You can you hit it one more time, Laura. No, 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 the, the screen. Oh. But that, that looks really good when you hit that light. <laughs> That's good. You can hit the light again. You can see those scalloped edges around there, which mimic the scalloped edges of the bowl. So cool. Will you hit the, the screen again? So cool. So this, the, the bowl itself has the scalloped edges as well as the underplate. Mm -hmm. So I have found this bowl 
and it's uh, matching under plate online, but I've not found it with, again, sorry, I hit the Fitz and Floyd, didn't I? I've not found it with this serving spoon, so I'm just really stoked about those two pieces. Beautiful. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm expecting that we get 50 to $80 for each of those. Yes, definitely. I mean, conservatively, right? Conservatively, especially on the green, because I think it'll bring more than that. I mean, so if we sell both of those just for like the, the lowest end of the spectrum, $50, that's our money back practically on just those two pieces. And then we still have all of this stuff to sell. Right. Right? Right. So, Laura, you think I did okay? I think you did great. What's your favorite piece, Laura? Um... You know you did good when I have a hard time picking a favorite. <laughs> it's almost like you kind of handpicked it for me. Oh. Um, but mm, I guess it's the china. It's the china for Laura. I just kind of love the restaurant wear. Awesome. I've always loved a set of china. Mine's going to be the pink. I think We think it might be Tiffin, but the pink uh, mayonnaise bowl with the underplate and the ladle. You know, normally I would go with the uranium, but I just there's just something about that sleek folded over bowl. I just think that is so cool. Yeah, you probably don't like the fussy of that etched design. I think it's beautiful. No, though. no, no. I do like it. I love it, actually. But, man, it's just a, such a toss-up. But I think I'm leaning toward the pink. So, Laura, we did it. Good haul. Mary Beth, you did a great job. Thanks. So what did you think? It was awesome. Was it? It really was. Thanks. I'm jealous. I'm jealous that I wasn't there when you found all that good stuff. Thanks. So I, it was worth $105? Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> what, what's my letter grade? Um, Man, I can't give you an A+. Plus. Uh, but you can get an A. Just a regular A? Yes. I'll take it. Okay. I'll take a regular A. You have to have a. something to strive for. That's true. <laughs> Guys, make sure you give this video a like. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what your favorite thing was. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Also, remember, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com if you saw anything today that you liked. And make sure you stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody.